And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. I've always enjoyed party games. Give me a good strategy game, you know, or an abstract strategy game, a war game. I mean, I love those kind of games, but every once in a while you just want to let loose and have fun with a group of people. And party games are a great way to do that. There are piles of bad party games out there. But one party game really changed the way I look at party games, and that was the original Time's Up. I played it many years ago. When I got it, just had a blast trying the game out, and it's been a staple of our group. Every time I go to any event, I often bring Time's Up with me because some of the, my, the most funny moments ever in the history of gaming, I'm, I'm convinced, have happened during games of Time's Up. Well, now a new version of Time's Up has been released, and that's Time's Up Title Recall. Ooh, the, the punny name. But, you know, really, this is basically the same game as the original Time's Up, but instead of talking about people, there are now titles of movies and books. For example, let me just read a couple of the cards here for you, and we'll see. Uh, like, here's Men Are From Mars, Women Are From Venus, famous book. The movie, Armageddon, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, um, Titanic, Citizen Kane, uh, Thriller, The Wire, Born to Run, Dallas, Full Metal Jacket, 60 Minutes, We Are the World, We Will Rock You. And there's there's a whole pile of just different titles of songs, titles of movies. Now, if you've never played Time's Up before, this is basically how it works. Players will, between them, pick 40 of these cards. You'll have a deck like this. Um, a timer is brought out, and there's one included with the game, which is not really that good of a timer. It's too short and just hard to see when it runs out. I've... There's another version of Time's Up that comes with an electronic timer. I would recommend that one. So you take this timer, and you flip it over, and everyone's split into teams. Usually you pick groups of two people. And I'll turn the card over, and here's Night Court. So I start giving you clues about Night Court, trying to get you to guess Night Court. Um, I can say anything I want except the words Night Court, but i got to do whatever I can to get you to guess it. Let's say you're a person who's never seen Night Court. Well, I can say, well, the first word is the opposite of day. And then it's a place you go to to pay traffic tickets. And hopefully you'll get, you'll get the clue from the words I say. And I, once you get it, I place it aside and we go to the next card. And we keep going until our 30 seconds runs up. And then we pass the cards to the next team and we keep going. This happens until all the cards are gone. Players then get one point for each card that their team has gotten. And the second round begins with the exact same cards. They're reshuffled back together. And then players give clues, but can only give one word clues. So here my, my word is bridge over the troubled water. So I might say river and then try and show a bridge somehow. Do whatever I can, but the other person only has one guess. If they get it wrong, I set it aside and try the next card. And if I, if I can't figure out a clue, I can set it aside. But every one we get right, we get to keep those cards and they'll be worth a point at the end of the round. Once everyone has gotten the cards this time, then we do a third round, and in the third round, no words are allowed. You can only pantomime, hum, uh, make motions, do whatever you, you have to do to get the other person without actually talking. And that's where the game gets really funny. The game is really humorous because things that people will erroneously say about folks will get caught up. Florence Nightingale, for example, someone might say she's an opera singer, which is completely wrong, but the clue in the third round might be someone going, Whoa, you know, singing like an opera star, and, or, well, in my case, the quite opposite of the opera star, but whatever, and, and it's really funny to see that, and so, and everyone will know that they're doing Florence Nightingale, and, of course, Florence Nightingale's a person, and this isn't people, these are names of movies and songs and books and such, and that really brings, you can act out a famous scene from the movie or what have you, and it's really, really humorous, and just a tremendously good time, Time's Up, Title Recall is a better incarnation than the first one. I like the first one, I like the names, but many times we had no clue what the names were. And if you have, you know, Pablo Picasso and the other person doesn't know who Pablo Picasso is, how do you get them to guess the word Picasso? At least here, if your your clue is something that someone doesn't know, like Hogan's Heroes, well you might have a hard time getting them to guess Hogan, but at least you can get them to guess the word heroes. The game also comes with a fourth round. In the fourth round, it's called posing. And that's where one per you say freeze. You, you have the other person close their eyes, and then you say, and then you freeze in the position, and they have to guess the clue from a pose. That's kind of ridiculous and probably, I mean, it's fun, but it's something you only do when it's really late and it's, you know, you're, you're just looking for that extra boost to the game. 
Also, interestingly enough, the game allows for an odd number of players. If you have five or seven players, you can play with multiple partners, and you can draw like a little star diagram, and it actually worked out pretty well. I thought that was a good thing about the game. The only negative thing I have about this game is I don't like this timer. Other than that, the cards are great, the variety of subjects they picked are great. It's just like the original game. The only difference is they have the new fourth round that you can use, and the optional uh, odd number of players rules, and then of course the fact that they changed titles of songs from the original people. But I'll tell you, these titles of songs and things, I'm always going to bring this version. I won't even bring the regular one out anymore um, unless we get completely bored with this one, in which I can't imagine. I'm sure they'll come out with expansions to add more cards to it anyway. Or you can get um, blank cards and add them into yourself. But and, and I guess you could mix the cards up with the other one, but I don't know if I would even try that because mixing people and titles might make for a confusing game. Still, tons of fun. You'll watch people who you thought were introverts just really come out and, and really try to do something to get other people to guess their to guess it. With the with the titles of songs in here, it gets really funny to watch people hum the wrong tunes to songs and then use those wrong tunes later on to show that it's the correct guess. Lots of fun. Some of the best fun you'll ever have in a party game. Time's up title recall, my highest recommendation. Thanks for joining us today. For more written audio and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.